try that again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Much better. Well, for those who might not know, somebody usually gets to take home a box, much like the one on the screen, put something in it. I don't know what's in it. And this week, it was, the, it was past Carolyn's turn. So, I'm a little concerned. You know, the pressure's on. It's not very heavy. No. Can I shake the box? Gently. No, I'm not shaking the box. You say gently, that's, it's a yes or no answer. This isn't a, a degrees of shaking thing. So it's not very, yeah, I'm not going to shake the box then. If it's a be careful. Are you awake, Tim? Just ask. <laughs> Staring blank in space. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't want to shake this. I have a feeling I know what this is. You probably do. I'm guessing, but I'm not entirely sure. This water is for religious... Uh, here, hold that up. I don't have the warning at the bottom of this. Anybody know what that is? It is a bottle of liquid. That is very specific, Clark. Very not... My chemistry teacher would be so proud of you if she had you in, your, in her class. This is... This is... i got to read this. Hang on. I'm getting old, so my glasses got to go up a little bit here. Holy land water. Yardin it? Oh, Yardin. It's Y A R D E N T. Yeah. Yardin. Yardinet. Yardinet. Yeah. The baptismal site of the. Anybody guess? Which river? Jordan River. There you go. And at the bottom it says this water is for religious purposes, not for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's a government requirement at the bottom of that. Um, I would hope you wouldn't get sick from drinking, accidentally drinking, and yeah. ingesting water, but can't be too careful. today is the day, and I'm sure we're going to hear more from Pastor about it, oh. that we're going to talk about Jesus being baptized, and where was he baptized? Do you guys know? Bethlehem. Not Bethlehem, we just said it. The Jordan, the Jordan River. And who baptized him? John the Baptist, or sometimes we call him John the Baptizer. John. John was a, this, I wish, if there's anybody in the Bible I ever wanted to get to know, it would be John. He, he seems like a really interesting guy. That would be the Clark way of putting that. And a really interesting guy. So he wore like a camel hair cloak, I believe, and he ate locusts and honey. Delicious, right? Yeah. That's your breakfast. What do you got for breakfast? I got a bowl of nice locusts and honey. I can use the legs to floss after I'm done. And he would go around and he would, he was, his job was to prepare the way for Jesus. What a job he must have had. And I gather he was not quiet and timid. He was not a Methodist about this. He was loud and boisterous, and he told people, you better get ready, he's coming. <coughs> Did I wake him? I'm sorry. John's loud. <laughs> and then one day Jesus came to him, and John's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You want me to baptize you? You should be baptizing me. It should be the other way around. But John did what he was told. And what a day. And I, I hope we hear a little bit more about that. Am I? A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> well, it's in the Bible. You should go and read up more about what happened when Jesus was baptized. And it was a different kind of baptism, though, than we do, if I understand it correctly. Well, they did go into the Jordan River, so it's a little bit different. And they, and they kind of they dump you under, right? Hold you under until you oh, can't yes. breathe? No, well. I'm just I'm kidding. <laughs> I was actually baptized by immersion. I grew up as a Baptist. So I can remember the day that I climbed into a little baptismal pool. It was up at the front of the church. Um, and it would lean you back into the water and, and pull you up. And it was described as both um, reminiscent of what Jesus did when at the Jordan, and as symbolic as being 
you're being, your sins are being cleansed. Now, it, it's, it's a, it's, doesn't mean that it was the act of cleansing your sins. It was reminders of our sins, our sins are cleansed. But man, oh man, what a day it must have been to see Jesus being baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. So let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, the Bible describes your baptism and, and it's hard to wrap our heads around it. It must have been an amazing day. And it's so great that many of us have had, some of us have had the opportunity to go see, see the river that Jesus was baptized in, to know that it's there today. And many have even been baptized in that river. And Lord, we are so honored to be able to learn about this. And we're so grateful that Pastor could share some of that water, a bottle of that water with us, and show it to us. In your name we pray. Amen.